Hello Libra, welcome to Soul Vibin. Back with another tarot card reading here for you. Libra, this is going to be your North Node energy reading. So we're going to see what you need to do, what steps you need to take into your North Node. We're going to get advice from your higher self, as well as your inner self, angelic guidance, as well as cosmic guidance, the energy around you, and what you need to know, what you're going through, the new perspective you need to take, and the action you need to take. So let's go ahead and pull out those cards. You can skip through this if you want, but I will be um, talking about the cards I pull out as I go. So I don't recommend you skip anything because I probably just lay out my cards like I usually do. Ah, okay, so this is your higher self. Your higher self is telling you that you have just ended a chapter in your life, okay? And even though maybe for some of you, this may not be, for some of you, this may not be the best ending. For some of you, this is the perfect ending. Uh, whatever it is for you, I feel like it's it's for the best of you, for the best of um, yourself, okay? Whether it's good or bad there is really no good or bad there just is so even though this may feel a little confusing um if you learn to look at things from that perspective then you're able to propel forward in the direction that you need to go in so with happy endings and gratitude you really need to appreciate the lesson you just learned you need to appreciate the lesson you just went through or the situation that just happened or whatever it is that just ended in your life I do feel like there's a lot of balance around you and I do feel like whatever happened was for a reason, okay? So always leave it up to the divine and trust that God has a plan for you. Trust that there's always a divine plan and that you showing gratitude at this moment in time is going to be very crucial for you and maybe you are already feeling this way. If you're not, then go ahead and express gratitude and then you're going to see like the light at the end of the tunnel and you're going to allow things to end the way they, they have to. So this is very beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and pull out your tarot cards. I don't know why I feel so anxious to pull out your tarot cards. So there's um, what you need to know or what you're going through. A uh, new perspective that Libra is, needs to take on their situation. And can I get the action to take? What do they need to do at this moment in time? What do they need to do at this moment in time? What does Libra need to do? Okay. So with happy endings, this can be anything that just ended, okay? This can be a job, a career, a relationship. Um, it could be anything that you just finished and completed and that maybe you feel really good about. Or maybe you don't. Whatever the situation is for you, try to stay optimistic about it. Um, so I'm going to take these two cards because I'm being asked to take these two cards for you for the action you need to take. Um, I'm going to get angelic guidance. So let's go ahead and get angelic guidance and then I'll go over your tarot. Angelic guidance for Libra. Angelic guidance for Libra. Beautiful. There's one. Okay, and then two. So let's go ahead and get cosmic guidance or universal guidance, whatever. Whatever. It's the same thing. <laughs> so let's see. Cosmic guidance for Libra. Okay. Beautiful. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull out a affirmation for you. And I'll start with your affirmation. Or I'll continue with your affirmation. So here it is. I am aware that I am pure consciousness. I am one with all life. And I am so sorry my camera has been doing this. Um, let me see if I can fix it. Okay, good. Sorry about that, Libra. I had to fix it because it was bugging me. And if it's bugging me, I'm sure it's bugging you. <laughs> but um, here you go. I am aware that I am pure consciousness. I am one with all life. I rejoice in my unlimitedness. So this is an affirmation that you could use telling yourself that you're not limited to anything. You're basically free to do as you want. I, re I rejoice in my unlimitedness, okay? So you're connected and for some of you, maybe you have a pure conscious, okay? Maybe you're connected with Christ consciousness um, where you do the best you can when you can. Um, maybe you're aware that, you know, you have, you have been through a lot of experiences, all right? And so you've learned from those experiences and, and you're not the only one that has gone through those. Just so you know, you're not alone. I guess that's what I'm saying, what I'm getting. You're not alone. Uh, let's go ahead and pull your romance angels. Sorry, your, this is angelic guidance. Calling in your soulmate. 
So my phone is oh, 10%. Okay. Calling in your soulmates, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This is about calling in your higher self, aligning with your higher self, aligning with your divine masculine within you. Um, this has nothing to do with anything outside of you either. So as long as you um, are learning the lessons, then you're moving forward in the right direction. But always remember to say prayer, affirmations, and visualizations are all going to help you at this moment in time. Okay, so meditating, um, saying a prayer, giving thanks, showing gratitude to the universe for your experiences, for, you, for what you have been through, is what's going to help you move forward in the right direction into your north node. Reconciliation. For some of you, maybe you're reconciling. For some of you, maybe you do you do want a soulmate in your life. Maybe you're looking for that one person. But I feel like if you haven't found that one, that someone, it's because divine timing, divine timing, and maybe because if there's something within you that you need to kind of close off before you're able to move on. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So there may be someone from your past returning, okay? this You may have wanted this for a while. This can just be a message for some of you with reconciliation here. This can be maybe feeling full and complete within yourself as well. Maybe you feel like a part of you has been missing for some time and you're learning to find that patience, that gratitude, that, that ending, that chapter closing so you're able to move forward and find yourself again. Now, I definitely feel like this can be a love situation for some of you but i feel like um for those of you like on a spiritual journey then this can be your your you coming together with your divine masculine within you or your divine feminine within you whatever the case is for you i feel like it's divine masculine that you're looking for um so if you don't know much about the energies we both have divine masculine and divine feminine within us and sometimes when we attach ourselves to um, someone outside of ourselves, then that's because we're trying to find ourselves in that person when realistically all we need to do is find ourselves. Does that make sense? Uh, I, I feel like I need to do a lesson on divine masculine and divine feminine. So if you guys would like to see like that lesson, let me know down below. But here is your your um, cosmic gui guidance. You get your life as a canvas, artist manifestation, creative accountability. Maybe you're very artistic. Um, maybe you're very unique in the way you do um, art form or the way you embrace your creativity. This, this is all about your um, uh, sacral chakra as well. Um, there's a lot of sexual energy around you as well. This is the way I see the sexual, the sexual, <laughs> the, the sacral chakra. All right. So I feel like for others of you, this is your, your life is a canvas. Basically, you're going to create what you want. Um, where are you going to start? I don't know. You may start here. You may start here. doesn't matter where you start. It just, it just matters that you start. Does that make sense? So let's go ahead and get the other card for you. So you get deep cellular healing. I do feel like there's some resistance to healing, but if you're able to find the gratitude for the experiences that you have been through, then this is what's going to help you feel like yourself again. It's going to help you reconcile with what you've been missing. All right, deep cellular healing, Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. So there's a lot of healing that maybe you've been through, that you're going through. Um, maybe you're finding that closure, okay, to some some healing, some kind of healing experience um, that you've been through, okay? I feel like it can, could have been really a deep wound um, and you're learning to heal it through maybe a different way of doing, doing things. This can be maybe with prayer, with, affirmations visualizations for some of you this is art um creativity you're very creative for some of you this is channeling your sexual goddess energy whatever it is for you i do feel like it's different energies here but let's go ahead and see what you're going through at this moment in time the card you get is the four of swords so this is your i feel like maybe you're taking a break for some of you you could be taking a break from someone around you a soulmate um that i feel like you will reconcile with um if it is what you want right? It's all up to you. But with this four of swords, I'm getting more of the energy, like your mental state of mind is becoming more at peace. Okay. You're, you're feeling more at peace. You're, you're starting to accept things for how they are. Maybe for some of you, you're meditating and this is helping you or yoga, whatever the case is. It's like, um, 
you're not overthinking about what could happen, what's going to happen. You're kind of just centered in your own vibe. And this is what's helping you tremendously with this Knight of Wands because the new perspective that you need to take, if you're not in the zone yet, then this is what you need to do, right? Find that mental peace and clarity. And this can be by isolating yourself or even by doing the opposite, by spending time with people who you love, who make you feel good. Um, with the Knight of Wands here, this is the new perspective you need to take. So this is you taking action, um, inspired action, to do something that you want to do or kind of just propel forward um, with courage and with inspiration, okay? Definitely requires a lot of strength, but within you taking this break, maybe this is what's going to happen. You're going to just feel a lot more um, centered and powerful and it's almost like you're harnessing this energy to, you know, make this beautiful breakthrough. So let's see, um, this is the action you need to take. So seven of discs, where are you investing your time and your energy? This is what you need to acknowledge. Maybe journal, do some writing um, to see where it is that you need to um, invest your time and your money in. Maybe this is something that you've been trying to um, balance in your life. Like, is this worth investing into? Like, what what is worth investing in for me? Like, what should I do? What should I do next? You know, this is you putting in that thought, that energy into that, um, that, that time and space. Does that make sense? So making some time now to plan or to channel your energy in the right direction. And then you also get Queen of Swords. So major lesson learned. The Queen of Swords is also somebody who um, learns lessons the hard way. This may be you. You may this, and this is definitely Libra energy. So this is your energy. So maybe you're gonna have to cut someone out. Maybe you're gonna have to set the boundaries really clear with other people because this is what your intuition is telling you. Your intuition is guiding you. Your intuition is telling you what to say at this moment in time. Your intuition is also telling you. Um, that you hold the sword to cut whoever you need out of your life and keep whoever you want, but be very discerning because the Queen of Swords is discerning. The Queen of Swords um, learns her lessons the hard way, but ultimately she holds the sword of truth, so she knows kind of how, how to use discernment in certain situations or in all situations. So I definitely feel like that's, what's, that's what your energy is going to be like from now on. Um, let me know if that resonates with you, but let's go ahead and pull out the energy around you. The energy around you is a unicorn, so you're very unique, very beautiful, very magical, very majestic. I don't know why I got the word majestic, and I keep getting that kind of energy, like, like really majestic. And then firefly, um, so don't hide your light, okay? So what I'm getting is that you're very... You're very unique, okay? You're very different than other people, and that I can see very clearly. So maybe sometimes that's what um, throws you off. You may pick up on other people's energy that is not yours, all right? And so here with the unicorn and the firefly, your different um, personality, I guess, um, or persona, it, it's so different than other people that sometimes you feel like you're not you don't blend in you also feel like maybe you're not enough or you're scared to shine your light but what i'm getting is that you should always shine your light because you never know who you're inspiring okay you may be inspiring a stranger you may be inspiring your child you may be inspiring um someone around you you know that a friend maybe that even if they don't tell you you're you're inspiring i feel i still feel like you could be inspiring them so never dim your light for other people always shine your light because you'll never know who's who's waiting for you to you know make that instagram post or do that like poem or that art or you know whatever it is that you do for creative um for creativity so that is all i have for you libra thank you so much for tuning into your reading i enjoyed giving you your reading it was very beautiful um i really like your energy and i wish you nothing but love light abundance and i will catch you guys in the next reading or your other signs bye for now